Hi friends, this is Callie. Thanks so much for joining me today as I create another interactive card using my favorite things, Festive Friend Set, along with their launch party interactive dies. I'm gonna share these snowmen throwing snowballs at each other, and it's so much fun and easy to make, so let's get right to it. All right, so let's get started by coloring these Festive Friends. Typically, I stamp and color before die cutting, but for the sake of time, I prepared everything off camera before starting my card today. I'm coloring my images with Copic markers, and since the snow and snowmen are light in color, I'm hoping adding some pops of brighter colors will bring more interest to my scene. Once I'm done coloring everything, I'm just gonna set it all aside and work on my background. So this background is gonna be a little bit more color. I wanted to add a little bit of pink to kind of create a sunset look, as well as give the card a little bit more color because once again, snow and snowmen are often white and light in color. I'm starting with warm lipstick for the pink at the bottom there. And then for the top, I'm gonna to blend in with tumbled glass starting from the top until it meets the center there with the warm lipstick. And after I'm done ink blending, I'm going to splatter my panel with some water and then I'm gonna let it sit for a second and then remove the excess with a paper towel, then splatter some additional white acrylic paint over it. I water down with a little bit of water so that it's easier to work with. And then I set that panel aside to start constructing my launch mechanism. So the launch party dynamics comes with a few different pieces. The first one is the pool tab on the right there that I've die cut in white. And then there's the actual launch mechanism, which I've cut using acetate. There's also a washer piece and two backings for your slider mechanism and a belly band to help hold your pull tab in place once you're ready to glue everything down. Now to put the mechanism together, we're taking the pull tab and that launch piece that I cut out in acetate and attach them together using a brad. There are holes at the end of each piece, which makes it easy so that we don't have to guess. Once that's done, I'm going to take my belly band here and wrap it around my pull tab to make sure it slides freely and isn't too snug before I glue it together. And then I slide it back over the pull tab just to make sure that it doesn't catch. And then I set it aside to work on my slider elements. I'm using double-sided adhesive on both sides of each piece. And I'm using two because it really helps the pull tab move right and left for better alignment once the card is put together. The hills on my card are die cut from the snowy scene builder dies and actually fits a four and five and a quarter inch card. So I'm just trimming my ink blended panel here by an eighth of an inch on each side to make sure that the hills fit. And then I'm gonna go back to my launch party die which includes a slider channel die that I'm going to use to adhere my mechanism in place. I'm just making sure here that everything aligns and that um, the channel slider portion can be hidden by the hills. Before I attach my pull tab to the slider channel, I wanna quickly stamp the word pull from the interactive label stamp set. I'm gonna take my pull tab and line it up over the slider channel and temporarily hold it in place with some purple tape. Then we're just gonna swivel up that acetate piece from the launch mechanism just a tad over the pull tab and then we're gonna make a small marking. You can cut the hole using the die included or you can pierce it like I am with a piercing tool and piercing mat. Then I'm gonna flip the whole thing over and attach the slider elements. I'm removing the backing from one side, attaching it in that slider channel, and then attaching the backing that we previously cut from the launch party dynamics. Again, we're gonna do this twice just to make sure that things flow back and forth easily without falling out of alignment. I don't think it's completely necessary, but it's just a safe. All right, now we're ready to attach our belly band. I'm just adding some double-sided adhesive here, sliding it through my pull tab, and then securing it in place by applying some pressure over the pull tab onto that ink blended panel. And finally, the last thing to do is to adhere a brad right there over that piercing that we did using the washer that I die cut originally um, from the Launch Party Dynamics set. So we're just gonna place that over that piercing, and then we're gonna attach the brad and then make sure that you don't do it too tight so that it flows back and forth easily there. And then to give my hills a bit of color and sparkle, I'm adding some color with Copic markers, the same two colors that I used to color the bodies of the snowmen. And then I added clear adhesive to the very edge at the top there and then applied some chunky glitter. It does dry really fast, so I just kept moving without stopping here. So um, just so you know, I didn't take any breaks to allow it to dry or anything. Now we can start by putting the scene together. 
I'm adding foam adhesive there at the very bottom and on the side where it won't obstruct the mechanism. And then my second hill is glued to that hillside with a little bit of foam tape between the pull tab and the clear acetate there that you see just to make sure that there is some extra reinforcement. I'm laying my images over my card now to make sure that everything flows well before I adhere my snowball down and trim my launch piece so that um, it's there's no overhang when I pull the tab out. Now once everything is where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and adhere it down and then I emboss my sentiment from the stamp set. And now to attach the whole piece to a card base, I'm going to also use foam adhesive to make sure that the mechanism is not obstructed. And that's all for my card today. I really hope you enjoyed this fun scene, these little snowmen throwing snowballs at each other. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you are interested in seeing any more of my videos, please check it out. I've got two for you on the screen here. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.